Hello everyone, welcome to another Zer Day. He, uh, Zer is currently located on Earth. If you click on the Winding Cove, he'll, t uh, he'll take you straight there. Make sure you track him. Let's click. And we'll see you down there. Perhaps this is why the night here. Uh, okay, the Colony, level 20. 305 attack. Void comes with a legendary mod, as always, uh, and it's also a grenade launcher. Uh, robot grenades fires uh, fires with robot grenades that chase targets and explode in close proximity. Quickly re re repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. Hmm. Okay, Shinobu's Vow, Hunter Class, level 20, 305 defense, comes with a legendary mod, Energy Bracket mod, improves weapon handling for, for equipped energy weapons. Hmm. New Tricks, improves skip grenade and you gain an additional skip grenade charge. MK44 Stanisides. Titan class, 305 defense, level 20, comes with a legendary mod, acceleration mod, increases this, this armor's mobility, allowing you to move faster. Seriously, watch out. Grants an overshield when sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash equipped. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. Hmm. The Stag Helmet Warlock Class 305 Defense Level 20 comes with a legendary mod. Self Repairing Mod increases this armor's recovery, allowing you to to recover health faster. Dearly Departed grants Rift Energy when you are critically wounded, or your death creates a brief healing rift on your corpse. Rather morbid, but okay. Okay, let's see what's good. Okay, come to this portion of the video where we go back over them and break it down, see what's good, see what's not, see what's worth having. Yeah, let's go for it. Right, the colony, grenade launcher. Now this weapon is is an absolute destroyer and crucible. If you do not have this weapon for Crucible, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're doing something wrong. You are seriously doing something wrong if you do not have this on your loadout for Crucible. This 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 is a must for Crucible. I've been in the Crucible the last couple of games that I've been playing tonight, and all I'm seeing is the colony, the colony, the colony. Oh my god. And next thing I know, I turn around the corner, and boom. There's a colony straight for my face, and I'm like, oh, bloody heck. I'm thinking, right, okay, I've got to find out where people are getting this. And lo and behold, Zer has it this week. Hey. <laughs> okay, um, a fantastic weapon. Um, if you have this, okay, all well and good. You're using it, you're kicking butt, you're just owning in PvP. Awesome. If you don't have it, pick it up. Seriously, come on, people. Pick it up. He's actually selling a beautiful weapon this week. I would say pick it up. He's, you you must have it. Either for your collections or, you know, for, for everything else. I haven't seen this used in in PvE. I've only seen this used in PvP. I have not... Um, I haven't tested this myself. This is the first time I've come to Zer. Um, that's, why this, that's why this video is a little bit late this week. I do apologise. Please forgive me. Um, okay, Shinobu's Vow. Hunter class. Uh, let's look at this. New tricks. Uh, improved skip grenade and you gain an additional skip grenade charge. Okay. Um, I would say this is viable for PvE. Yeah, because you get an extra charge for your grenade. So, you know, it... If you are if you are using your grenades, I would say you know. I would say pick this up 
for your collection purposes as well. I've already picked this up as well. Um, for your collection purposes. But I would say... Pick this up. Give it a go. Switch your loadouts every week. See what works. See what don't. See what you like. If, you, if you've got a certain loadout that you like... Okay, fantastic. I would say give this a go. Um... I'm not going to really use this on my hunter because I've got a certain loadout that I use for PvE and Crucible raids and etc. Okay, MK44 stand sides. He's had these before. Um, I did say um, this would be fantastic in PvP because it gets you know you've got an overshield. That's just yeah, you know, that's fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Especially if you're running the hammers. Oh Jesus, that's just that's just over that's just overkill. Overkill right now. Um hmm. I would say if you if if you're a person that likes to go full in with your fists or sword or anything, if you've got a certain certain style to what you want to do, I would say pick this up, give it a go, especially for the collection purposes. Mm. I would say for collection purposes, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. This gets this gets more on your collection, more that you can actually just buy again, and just want to mix it up. You know what I mean? Um, for PvP, I would say it's viable for PvP, viable for PVE as well. The stag, I don't use this myself. It, I've got this multiple times from just drops. I don't use it. It, I doesn't. I, I don't feel like it fits with anything. It do, it just doesn't. It it don't fit. It don't fit with anything. It don't fit with PVE. It don't fit with PVP. It just doesn't fit. We can know what's the point in putting a healing rift down when you die? You know. Uh, yeah, it helps out your teammates when you're in PVP. But what's the point? What's the point? There's better helmets, better items out there that you can actually use. This one. It's just, it's just not needed. It's just not needed. Maybe the raid, maybe the raid that you can use in the raid, because if you die, it creates a healing rift down for your teammates. So if you're going, if you're going as a support class, then yeah, maybe you want to try this out. But I don't see this viable for anything. It's not viable for anything. Useless. Useless. I, I, I really wouldn't use it. Not at all. Sorry. Um, Freer Coins. Now, I haven't seen any news whatsoever that these have been fixed. I'm hearing from other players that these are stopping you from getting any Ingrams for four hours. Any Ingrams at all. No Ingrams will, will drop for you for four solid hours. Now, that's... You know, if, if I'm if I'm hearing that from other players, seriously, Bungie needs to look at this. This is not right. You know, if you're using these, if you're spending out your your, your shards, especially each time, each one is costing you thirty-one, thirty-one. That's just not right. Come on, seriously, if you're spending out thirty-one shards and you got three coins and they're not working for you. People need to be refunded the shards or take these out of the game until they're fixed. Because I've heard I've seen no news that they're fixed, and I'm heard, and I'm hearing from other players, I'll say again, I'm hearing from other players that these are stopping you from getting ingrams completely at all for four solid hours. That's not right. How is that helping? How is that helping anyone? It's not going to help the the people that have come on for Christmas, that have got it for Christmas. It's not helping them level up. It's not helping them get gears. And now, and this is creating a false advertisement. You know, they're saying clearly says here that we had this in Destiny One. Clearly states increased chance to receive an exotic ingram from sources in the world. PV, uh, PvP, the raid. PvE, adventures, every single thing that you can get ingrams for stops. Let's, let's, let's just think about that. It stops. What's the point even having them in the game? 
useless. Absolutely useless. Come on, Bungie. Sort this out. Pull your finger out of your ass, And sort it out. What's wrong with you? Yeah? These needs to be sorted. Not just, you know, not just for me, but for every single person else that is playing your game. You need to sort these out. Because they're not working. I've seen no news that these are working. I'm hearing from the players that they're not giving you ingrams for four solid hours. What's wrong? What's going on? Well, maybe next week. You know, maybe they decide next week. They're thinking, oh, okay, we'll, 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 we'll decide to put a patch out and to actually fix them. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's Bungie for you again. All right. If you enjoyed my little rant now, I try to rant because Bungie's... Oh, Bungie, why are you doing this to people? Okay, everyone, if you enjoyed my rant, thank you very much. I do apologise. I do have a rant. Bungie. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that little bell icon down below. If you click that, that enables you to know every single time I upload. Every single time, it comes straight to you, your phone, your whatever you're running, your tablet, etc. It comes straight to that. Boom, bing. You are seeing all my uploads. Every single one of them. I suggest clicking that little bell icon down below. It will help me out. And it will also benefit you in the long run. Okay, everyone. I'll see you all next week. And next week, I will again put in more news about the free coins. I will do more digging, ask more players, and I will find out if they are working. If they're not, I'll put it in the video. <sighs> and I'll be disappointed and have another rant it is my again. To help okay, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'll see you all next week for another Zerda.